Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from grade 11 science. We are discussing the ninth lesson heat. Our subtopic is temperature. Daily weather report transmitted through television channels may be familiar to you. Do you remember hearing that the lowest temperature was reported from Novarelia while the highest temperature was reported from Trincomalee on a particular day? Can you remember that it is difficult to dry wash clothes on rainy days and that they, that they dry fast on sunny days? Try to recall coolness experience in eating an ice cream and the warmness felt in drinking a hot cup of tea. The physical quantity that describes each of the instances above is the temperature. Temperature can be specified as the fundamental property of any material object. An ice cube has a very low temperature. Temperature of warm water is higher than the temperature of cold water. Our body too has a temperature. Therefore, we can say whether the temperature of a certain object is higher than or lower than the temperature of our body by touching, touching the object. Temperature is measure of the mean kinetic energy forces by the particles that form an object. Let's discuss about the measuring temperature. By touching various objects, we can get a rough idea about their temperature. However, since the temperature felt by touching is not so accurate and cannot express as numerical value, it is not suitable method for measuring temperature. Therefore, the scientists in the past had realized the necessity for constructing a device for measuring temperature. Thermometers The device employed to measure temperature is known as thermometer. The first figure you can see the world's first thermometer and the second picture is goes to Galileo Galilei who was invented invented the first thermometer. Various types of thermometers are used in present. We will only be focusing on the glass mercury thermometer and glass alcohol thermometer in this chapter. So we are going to first discuss about the glass mercury thermometer. The glass mercury thermometer is constructed by connecting a narrow glass tube to a bulb connect containing mercury. When the temperature rises, the mercury in the bulb expands and moves up along the narrow tube. The temperature can be read from the scale marked on the tube according to the length of the mercury column. Although the volume expansion due to a small temperature difference is small, the length of the mercury column rises up by a clear visible amount as the diameter of the narrow tube containing mercury is very small. You can see a glass mercury thermometer here. The glass bulb with thin walls, mercury and the glass body with capillary tube. Mercury is commonly used in thermometers as it has a uniform expansion over a broad range temperatures. It is a good thermal conductor and it is a liquid over a broad range of temperatures. However, due to the toxicity of mercury, use of glass mercury thermometers is on the decline. Let's discuss the glass alcohol thermometer. Glass alcohol thermometer is constructed in the same manner as the glass mercury thermometer but replacing mercury by ethyl alcohol that means ethanol. Since the melting point of Ethanol is 115 Celsius. It is suitable for measuring low temperatures much below 0 Celsius. Ethanol is a suitable liquid for thermometers as it has a high expansion relative to most other liquid and has the expansion increases uniformly with the temperature. Since purified ethanol is a colorless liquid, 
it is colored with the coloring material in order to see the alcohol column clear. This is digital thermometer. In addition to the thermometers mentioned above, digital thermometers from which the temperature can be read directly are also commonly used today. In construction digital thermometers, an electrical property such as the resistance which depends on the temperature is used instead of the expansion caused by an increase in the temperature. Let's see what are the temperature scales are. There are three temperature scales widely used in temperature measurement. They are the Celsius, Fahrenheit and the Kelvin scales. Celsius scale. The Celsius scale has been formed taking the temperature at which pure ice melts into liquid water under the pressure of one atmosphere as a zero temperature and the temperature at which water vaporizes into steam under the same pressure as 100 Celsius. These two temperatures have been chosen for the Celsius scale as the temperature at which ice melts into water and the temperature at which water boils can be easily obtained and as these temperatures have fixed values apart from the variation with pressure. The definite temperatures used in forming a temperature scale are known as fixed point. For the Celsius scale, these two fixed points are divided into 100 divisions. Now you can see the Fahrenheit scale. For the Fahrenheit scale 2, the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water are used as the two fixed points. However, here the melting point of ice is taken as 32 Fahrenheit and the temperature range between two fixed points are divided into 180 divisions according to the boiling point of water is 212 Fahrenheit. This is the Kelvin scale. The zero values of Celsius and the Fahrenheit scale have been chosen according to the wishes of the people who introduced them. However, the British scientist Lord Kelvin later showed that there is a minimum value to the temperature that any object can reach. This temperature is known as the absolute zero temperature. The temperature of an object is measures of the mean kinetic energy of the particles that constitute the object. The temperature of the object decreases when the kinetic energy of the particles decreases. When the kinetic energy of all particles becomes zero, the temperature of the object reaches the absolute zero. Its temperature cannot be decreased below this value. This temperature has been found to be minus 273.15 Celsius according to the Celsius scale. The Kelvin scale is defined so that is zero is at the absolute zero temperature. However, in this scale, temperature difference equal to 1 Kelvin is chosen to be equal to the temperature difference of 1 Celsius. Accordingly, the melting temperature of ice is 273.15 Kelvin and the boiling temperature of water is 373.15 Kelvin. These temperatures are appropriate approximately taken as 273 Kelvin and 373 Kelvin respectively. The international unit of measuring temperatures is the Kelvin. Now let's see the relationship between Celsius and Kelvin scales. Now you can see the relationship between Celsius and Kelvin. Since the difference between the Kelvin and Celsius scale lies only in the temperature chosen for their zero values, in order to convert a temperature measured in Celsius into the Kelvin scale, only one needs to add 273. In order to convert a temperature measured in Kelvin into the Celsius scale, one has to subtract 273.15 
273. This is what we have to learn as the first part of heat lesson in grade 11 science. Our next video is from the same lesson heat. Topic is also heat. Thank you.